What's up, everybody? Welcome to Boss Coder Academy's YouTube channel. My name is Akshat, and I'm a software engineer at RCCM. I'm also a mentor at Boss Coder Academy. So today, guys, we have Rahul with us, and he recently got this amazing, amazing job at Google. And we're waiting to hear all about his journey and ask him what are the tips and what was his journey like from Deutsche Bank to joining Google. So uh, let's let's hear it from the man himself. Hey, Rahul, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, Akshat. Uh, thanks for inviting me for this amazing session. and uh, yeah guys uh, all the all the students of boss coder uh, here i am i have recently joined google on 6 december and i'm wow. really excited about this year opportunity now for awesome. as far as my yeah thanks yeah as far as my experience is concerned uh, i have started my journey from deutsche bank and uh, during this lockdown uh, covid period i have actually uh, came across various uh, my friends actually uh, trying to switch to a really amazing companies now uh, since i actually uh, lost the knack of programming uh, in 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 around one and a half years uh, i suppose uh, i was struggling with initial phase of my uh, programming style now uh, there were actually many questions how should i start again uh, like go to the gigs for gigs start the competitive uh, programming and uh, these were actually the struggles that i was facing uh, initially awesome so uh, i think that's something which people generally you know go through when they're trying to switch a job from the comfortable environment that they are to finding a different job in a product based company and all so uh, could you stress a little bit more on what were the struggles you were facing before joining boss code the cat okay so uh, my struggles were uh, at uh, deutsche bank i was actually got really a little comfortable with my job and uh, the task that i was given i was able to complete it in a day and uh, no enthusiasm was there so okay. this was actually my trigger that i need to actually go to some really good company where i can actually enjoy every day of my life so uh, this is how I actually uh, uh, i've started searching how you can switch the companies how should you prepare for the experienced person and uh, at a time when uh, browsing through the linkedin uh, creating contacts on the linkedin i uh, came across the boss code yeah so that's when it all began for you yeah that's all it So yeah, uh, Rahul, I believe like this is something which almost everybody faces, like you mentioned, and uh, we all are looking for that one-stop solution so we can tackle all these problems of going through different different resources and skimming through again and again to make sure we're finding the right path which will be leading us to a good job. And like you mentioned, like people generally are stuck up in their regular jobs trying to uh, find that pace at which they can match with their career and. you know enjoy what they do right and i believe google is the third place uh, for almost all the people out there it's like a big big dream for everyone to be a part of so moving on uh, can you tell me how exactly did you get to know about boss coder academy and what made you feel that you should join this organization which can probably help you out there i suppose my first point of contact with the boss coder was uh, rajat uh, as i was going through the linkedin uh, profiles i came across him uh, trying to find uh, connect with more uh, good organizations people and rajat was one of them so in one of the recent posts i i have actually contacted him uh, what is this boss code so when i contacted him he he told me that this is a really uh, a good initiative that is actually mentoring the uh, experienced person as well as the students at academic uh, to uh, to actually join their dream company now this is where i have started it i have actually asked really a lot of questions with uh, with rajat uh, i suppose whether it it's really beneficial for me or not i don't know so uh, for a day i was actually just uh, pushing all my questions to rajat and he was answering it and at last i have decided that i would be joining the boss coder and it it has really uh, paid paid me well all day right. that's really this, yeah definitely yeah. it's it's also true because we uh, i feel like there are so many uh, possible options out there and it's you know like a very very big fish market rather i should say so you need to find that one particular thing that you're looking out for and that should be able to help you to get the dream that you want to always have right all right rahul so can you tell me like how exactly boss coder academy was there for you to actually upskill you so that you can get this job at google okay so uh my first day at boss code i remember that manish was actually explaining really uh, well all the uh, almost starting from basic concepts of the programming uh, and since then i have been actually regular to the class solving all the assignments and this uh, actually uh, uh, keeps me consistent uh, over a uh, actually 6 month of period now this actually uh, uh, 
created a really uh, good uh, mental response to any question that I come across in any interview or even solving other problems. Now, this consistency and uh, patience actually helped me to uh, achieve this dream. So, Boss Kudo actually uh, maintains that. All right. So, consistency is the key, I believe, to get the almost every offer out there. So all, to all the people watching out there, this is something which I really stress on in all my videos. You have to be absolutely consistent with your practice. Just keep at it. Just keep uh, hustling through every day and Monday. Definitely you also will be a part of a wonderful company like Google and working there as a software engineer. All right, Rahul, can you give me a feedback about the overall course that you just went through? Probably in, in respect of how exactly things you were, how exactly you were doing things before joining Boss Coder Academy and how did, exactly did your approach change after you joined the Academy in the first place? Okay, so uh, before joining the Boss Coder, uh, I can give you an example, like you are standing in a jungle and you don't know, you, you have the fruits, uh, trees everywhere. You can go anywhere. <laughs> So I'm just uh, actually solving different questions, different things. I, I was actually focusing on DS or graph, but uh, the main focus or the track uh, has not been consistent with the uh, with the past uh, uh, with the past practices. So here, Boss Coda actually helps me that uh, it started from the basics and goes on building upon the basics and started uh, and from there we actually started uh, solving really difficult questions and the questions uh, that we are able to track. Uh, the fan companies. Okay. So it's it's like a pyramid scheme on starting from the very foundation level and building one, one on top of each other to make sure you reach at the top eventually, right? Stacking, stacking of various different, uh, it's, uh, yeah, uh, of course. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, so moving on, Rahul, with the very last question. If you were to rate the overall curriculum on a scale of one to 10, how many, uh, how many points would you give this entire course? And if let's say somebody else wants to join this uh, curriculum, if you can probably rule out some tips for the people. Okay, so I would actually scale it as a nine. And uh, this has actually happened in the B3 batch, means the third batch of this boss code uh, beginning. And I suppose now it's going on B5, B6, and it's actually, go I'm, uh, if, if I'm a part of B5, B6, I would be giving it 10. So a right. uh, boss has come actually a long way with various different alumni from different companies, helping and mentoring with the various students, as well as doing the mock interviews. Now, this has actually helped us to uh, uh, to actually get the real idea of what the actual interview is there in the fan companies or uh, whatever the companies you want to crack. I suppose for the future journey, I would uh, actually say that uh, believe in the team, uh, reach out to them if you require any help and be consistent and patience. These are right. the four points that I would actually give them to the future joining. Yeah. All right. All right. That, that, these are very wonderful tips which you rolled out, Rahul. So uh, thank you so much for your time. And uh, people who are watching this video, I hope you guys benefit from what tips Rahul has given to us in a feedback about the overall course. So if you guys are interested in joining something like that, if you're looking for the one-stop solution to all your different problems out there to get the software engineering role in any product-based company that you're looking out for, so please reach out to us and feel free to comment in the comment section down below and like this video, share this video with your friends to make sure that uh, people benefit from this as much as they can. Until then, uh, thank you so much and see you next time guys. Thank you Rahul. Bye-bye.